Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Konnichiwa, Linlettis. Kyo wa Nihongo Gakushou wo hajimeru tamen no step by step guide wo ototoke shimasu. Kore kara Nihongo wo manabitai ke to doko kara hajimereba ii ka wakaranai kada ni mukette koritsu teki na gakushou hoho ya osusume no tsuru wo gosoukai shimasu. So, this video is especially for beginners who have just started learning Japanese or want to learn but don't know where to start. And I hope these steps will guide you on the way to start learning Japanese. So, let's dive into it. Firstly, basics. Mastering the basics is crucial when learning any language, and Japanese is no exception. To read and write Japanese, you must get comfortable with the three fundamental writing systems, hiragana, katakana, and kanji. But don't worry, as a beginner, your focus should be on hiragana and katakana. Memorizing these two writing systems is essential for reading and writing in Japanese. Because these systems have a limited number of characters, this goal can feel more manageable than the thousands of symbols in a kanji system. Aim to record each character and contraction without looking them up. Your reading speed will naturally improve with practice. Start with these videos for practice, and once you're confident, test yourself by typing on your keyboard or using websites like Lingua Ninja. After you've learned hiragana and katakana, don't dive into learning kanji yet. Start simple. It's the best way to build a strong foundation for your language skills. Start with everyday phrases or expressions like ohayo gozaimasu, arigato, or ikura desu ka. For practicing phrases, I recommend watching videos from Hamutsuke's Japanese learning channel and trying to read only in hiragana. If the pace feels too fast, listen at a slower speed. It's okay if you can remember all the phrases. The goal is to be able to read text in hiragana effortlessly. Try to incorporate these phrases into your daily life. Even if you don't have a partner to practice with, you can think in Japanese or talk to yourself. Give yourself time with these basics before diving into the next step, which is grammar and vocab. Start with basic grammar stretches and basic vocabulary together. You can learn one without the other, so I recommend you learn them together. Most likely, your mother tongue has different sentence stretches, so learning simple grammar early on will help you form sentences faster and boost your confidence in speaking. Once you have a basic grasp of vocabulary, shift your attention to understanding how to construct sentences in Japanese. This includes expressing past, present, and future actions, forming negative sentences, and asking questions. For grammar, I highly recommend two websites. The first is Tekim's Guide to Learning Japanese, which offers clear explanations of how Japanese grammar works, complete with examer sentences and a logical progression of concepts. Here, you can neglect kanji first. The second is Maggie Sensei, a fun and engaging resource that covers grammar for all levels in a cute, accessible way. And don't forget to watch these beginner-friendly videos from Japanese Part 101. Once you're comfortable forming basic sentences and using hiragana and katakana with ease, it's time to start learning basic kanji. Unlike the alphabet, each kanji character can have multiple readings and meanings depending on the context. However, learning kanji is essential for understanding Japanese, as it is widely used in everyday texts, signs, books, and newspapers. While it may seem challenging at first, mastering kanji enhances reading comprehension and helps distinguish words that sound alike but have different meanings. A common question is, how many kanji characters should I learn in a day? This will vary depending on various factors, including your learning style, available study time, and personal capabilities. Keep in mind that the more advanced you get, the more complicated and less common the kanji will be, making learning even more difficult. So it's safe to say that it's manageable to learn around 5 to 10 kanji characters per day. When it comes to mastering kanji and vocabulary, flashcards and spaced repetition apps like Mochi Kanji Learn Japanese are effective. If you are unfamiliar with this app, keep watching to discover its features. If you are already using it, I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. 
When opening the app for the first time, Mochi Kenji tailors its recommendations based on your current level and goals, allowing you to select causes that interest you or align with your skill level. Mochi Kenji is an outstanding speech repetition app designed to help you efficiently learn kanji and vocabulary. Let me quickly explain the speech repetition method. It's a scientifically proven approach that helps boost your memory by reviewing information at gradually increasing intervals. This technique is highly effective for memorizing, especially when it comes to learning kanji and Japanese vocabulary, as it makes it less likely you will forget what you have studied. One of the app's unique features is the golden time, which optimizes your review schedule based on your learning history, helping you memorize over 1000 kanji and vocabulary in just one month. It sends reminders at the perfect times to maximize retention. Your kanji collection is categorized into five levels, from newly learned to long-term memory, ensuring a deep understanding of each word. You can also track your progress for each word in the digital notebook to know which words you remember well and which will need to review more frequently. With hundreds of lessons and over 8,000 words and kanji, Mochi Kanji covers everything from N5 to N2 for the GLPT exams, as well as general communication and specialized courses like IT, services, and nursing. Each level contains 800 to 900 kanji and vocabulary, broken down into manageable lessons of around 10 words each. The app's flashcards feature pronunciation, audio, images, exam sentences, and various quizzes to reinforce your learning. You can skip what you already know. When the golden time is over, you will get a revision, including some quizzes in the form of reading, listening, and understanding, which will help you review comprehensively and improve kanji memorization. If you love writing kanji like me, the Kanji Write tab in Mochi Kanji is for you, where you can practice writing kanji from N5 to N2 through each stroke order. You can also engage in daily conversations with characters Mochi and Michi to enhance your communication skills. The search tab allows you to look up Japanese kanji and words using kana, romaji, or kanji. Mochi Garden adds an extra layer of motivation, allowing you to plant and care for virtual trees based on your learning goals. Whether you are just beginning your Japanese journey or aiming for advanced levels, Mochi Kanji adapts to your pace and keeps you motivated. You can find Mochi Kanji on the App Store, Google Play Store, or its website by searching for Mochi Kanji Learn Japanese. Otherwise, check the download link in the description below. From then onward, keep learning new grammar stretches, vocabulary, and kanji all together practicing both oral and written communication. Stay engaged with Japanese by integrating it into activities you already enjoy. If you love music, listen to Japanese songs and try to sing along. If you are into gaming, switch your game's language settings to Japanese. Watching anime or dramas with Japanese subtitles and listening to Japanese pockets are other great ways to stay immersed. The key is to make learning feel less like a core and more like a part of your daily life. By connecting Japanese with your hobbies, you'll stay motivated and make steady progress without even realizing it. Lastly, know where you are going. Set clear goals for your Japanese learning journey, whether it's passing a specific GLPT level or being able to hold a conversation or understanding your favorite enemy without subtitles, having a clear objective keeps you focused and motivated. Break down your big goal into smaller, manageable tasks like learning 10 new words in a day or mastering a particular grammar point each week. Regularly track your progress and celebrate the small victories. They'll keep you inspired to keep going. Thanks for sticking around. I hope these steps make your Japanese learning journey a bit smoother. Remember, language learning is a journey, so enjoy every step of the way. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more language learning tips. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions or want to share your own experiences. Keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video. Matane!